Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. We are looking at the Twin Bridges right now, our view from Ellis Park, and now it's dried out. We were getting some rain there early this morning, showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. I will say this, though, the best chance for rain has come. It is gone. We do have a chance for a few thunderstorms popping up this afternoon and this evening, but for the most part, uh, it is going to be quiet and fairly dry. So the sunshine is going to be a big player for the rest of the day. You see the traffic, though. It's one lane. Check it out. It's a right lane. They're working on the bridge right here. It's got one lane traffic. Angie. Take the back way. <laughs> Think of your best bet. Now take a look at the Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera. We see the clouds breaking up, the sunshine busting out. Hey, look at that. The grass looks as green as I've seen it in a long time. Well, that's what some good rain will do, right? Uh, this is just outside, of course, Deaconess Gateway. That's where we have our camera mounted in the complex. And on top of the Hampton Inn, our roofclaim.com camera looking out toward the east. And things are looking bluer out there. It's plenty gray. <laughs> Check it out. The camper's still there. Angie, the river right now is just under 16 feet, okay? By the end of the weekend, it's going to be at around 21 feet. <laughs> Not good. And not good for that camper is what I'm thinking. You got a few days to get that camper out of there and it's floating down the river. Anyway, right now the temperature is 75 degrees. We've got a south wind at 8 miles an hour, two points at 71. So it's kind of borderline humid to very humid out there. Cooler temperatures up to the north where we have seen more of the rain. Of course, it was, I mean, it was just scattered at first when these thunderstorms started popping up a little before daybreak or right around daybreak. And then it became more impressive as we went through the morning. And now it's a lot less impressive, but it has cooled us off, kept the temperature down. Now now the clouds are breaking up. We're going to see that temperature jump pretty fast. It is July. We got a pretty high angle sun. 79 in Tell City. Look at these 80s down to the south where we could see 90 degree temperatures. I would expect low 90s in Madisonville and Greenville. 85 in both locations right now because they didn't get any rain out there today. The rain's all stayed to the north and it stuck around for a little bit, little bit of time anyway to keep those temperatures down for a while. Really not much of anything to show you. We've got lifers warning to the radar out there. Got a few showers up there around Washington. You got some in southern Knox County. Uh, got a few just outside of Perry County. But I mean, what was a pretty active radar this morning has become a lot less active out there. And I really don't expect a whole lot to develop over the next few hours. Now, this is a one hour loop right here. You can see the heavier rain that cut through the Dale area and then northern Perry County pretty much rode right along uh, I 64. At least the heaviest of that rain. Now that's off to the east, down to the south. We had a few showers earlier. Not the case now. These are rainfall estimates over the past 24 hours. Heaviest rain this morning was in southeast Illinois. And no surprise, that is where we have the heaviest rain on the board. Estimated rainfall. Of course, this includes everything yesterday afternoon and evening. We just didn't have a whole lot yesterday afternoon and evening. Like yesterday, today's rain was mainly in the morning. Anyway, just south of North City, boom, 2.9. It's about three inches of rain estimated by Doppler radar. Had a flash flood warning out earlier for that area. Now that has been lifted. Or at least it expired. But you can see the frontal boundaries to our north. And there's still a little bit of activity out there, but most of that rain has pushed to the east. That wave has trucked on up to the river. Look at this. Here's pretty cool. You know, you get these thunderstorms that fire up. Look at that's an outflow boundary that is sinking to the south from that. You see the band of clouds kind of sinking to the south. Even though the general movement for these thunderstorms is to the east, boom, you get these outflows. These are down drafts. They hit and they push out. And a lot of times you see further development of thunderstorms along those boundaries. Anyway, a little bit of rain still hanging on to St. Louis after another heap and helping of rain this morning for them. So that was a little salt in the wound for the St. Louis people. As we take a look at future trackers, indicating a little bit of activity down along the Western Kentucky Parkway and south over the course of the early afternoon, really by mid-afternoon and late afternoon, we're just talking about a lot of sunshine, maybe a stray shower, thunderstorm popping up. Then we start to see a little more action later on tonight and even overnight, showers and thunderstorms out there. And that's going to continue on for a Thursday, scattered about, shifting a little bit more to the south because we're going to have that cool front move to the south during the day on Thursday, but here you go. That's our best chance of rain, and this has been really consistent run after run, where it looks like it's going to be late morning, early afternoon, that we see a pretty good batch of thunderstorms push on through, and then things settle down somewhat late afternoon and throughout the evening. Marginal risk for severe weather is still out there, but at the same time, really our best chance has come and gone. And we did have that severe thunderstorm briefly uh, for Posey County and White County before it was canceled because of the storm actually started to weaken as it moved across the Wabash River. Still have that threat out there, though, for damaging winds. Here's my forecast for today calling for a high of 87 degrees so about 10 up from yesterday's high because we're going to see a lot more sunshine than what we saw yesterday scattered thunderstorms still possible but very widely scattered a uh, humid yes uh, and at times very humid but mainly just a humid day with a west southwest wind at 5 to 10 on the three degree guarantee yesterday i called for a high of 84 banking on 
more sunshine. Did not get it, but I'll get it today. I'm pretty confident in the 87 that I've got on the forecast for today as well. You can see 84 tomorrow, another good chance for showers and thunderstorms. That's going to taper off those we head into Friday, cooling off a little bit too. Less humid on Saturday, high of 80, just a slight chance of rain. Angie, that is the best day for the rest of the week. The temperatures are going to stay in the 80s for highs though over the next seven days. Check this out. This is a pumpkin tree. Uh, Ken Phillips, this is a tree what? out in his front yard. All oh, of a sudden, the vines, I it was see. a volunteer pumpkin plant. I think he probably had a jack-o'-lantern or a painted pumpkin probably. that may have rotted a little bit at the bottom, left some seeds down there, and now he's got a pumpkin hanging from his tree right there if you look to the right. That's <laughs> neat. That's really nifty. Love it. There it is right there. Well, you know, Chicken Fingers, National Chicken Fingers Day, but our gal Susanna Dickman has her own ideas. We'll see what Susanna's cooking up right after this.